howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. Indulge me for just about one minute, will you? recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. get my big head out of here and get my eyeballs on and let's get man let's go tour the usa in our chevrolet or um a white arabian stallion in this case all right man um let me get my big head out of here let's get the ears on got the eyes on you know the older you get the more stuff you gotta put on the more accessories you need you know you got eyeball accessories and earball accessories and all that now I have a plan as soon as the computer does it the computer has a plan the computer says we're gonna sink some data that's what we're gonna do I have a plan Arthur Arthur I have a plan so why should I follow your plans Dutch it's your plans that got us in all this trouble in the first place have some faith Arthur have faith um I do. I have an agenda, and and the computer's ears just perked up, you know, because the old uh, the old pooter over here is listening, saying, "All right, all right, all right. What's his plan? What's his plan? What's his plan?" You know, so so it can plan how to sabotage me, <laughs> right? That's the one we'll see. I'll get serious here in a minute. Sorry, I'm being silly. I'm just being silly. Um. But, oh man, I, I'm sorry, I just do enjoy, I do enjoy, I, I, th I think I enjoy every minute of this game. I mean, even when they do these kinds of, you know, out scenes, these, or cut scenes, whatever you call these. Look at this, look at this. You see what I'm saying? I'm such a tourist. <coughs> oh, Arthur, baby, don't be coughing on me. I mean, you can cough on me, I, you know what I mean, but I, I just don't cough. I mean, you know what I mean. 
Look at that! Got the caboose. Got a guard on the caboose on the back. I just love this. I mean, here you go, right here. Here's the video for today. I'm just going to sit. Can I sit? Why can't I sit? I would. I should be able to sit here. Just sit down. And this is the whole video right here. I am just going to chill and daydream and just be. Look at the train. It's still going off in the. You can't see it probably on the video. Uh, and just enjoy. Being alone with my thoughts. Another one? Though, oh, double dip. Double dip pleasure right here. Another train. That's a more powerful locomotive on this one. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm serious. I, I could, man. I could, I could just stay right there. What did I do last? We did stuff last time. And I can't. <laughs> oh, she's back. I do not know why I have this. Um urgency to take care of her you know and and because i know why because the game wouldn't let us properly take care of her you know on the onset you know when we first met her you know it was like she was starving to death and her husband died and she you know and all we got to do was give her a jackrabbit and thank god we were and i'm like that's not gonna help her man you know, I wanted to spend a week there. I think I said it in the other video, you know, two videos ago. But then we got the opportunity to go to her again and teach her how to shoot. And um, then she left and said she went to town and had a bunch. She said, I've got more money than I need. And so I thought she was gone for good. I thought she went, she's just going to give up on this. But, you know, she made a commitment to her husband and she's keeping it. And she is there. So that's where we're going. That's the only thing that we have other than Micah and the Reverend. Uh, we haven't done anything with Reverend Swanson in a long time. So I saw this last night when I quit playing. So I had, you know, made the note that we are definitely going to go check out Reverend Swanson, who has been on the mend. He is changing his ways. He needs to speak to you. And are we a rage unleashed? Are we sneaking onto a, a boat? That could this could be crazy. Okay, Reverend, we're headed for Charlotte. Um, and there's a couple things I want to do. Um, maybe we'll do them on the way. But y'all, um, I'm gonna take a quick quick break and um, get my notes because I, I don't have them near me. I think I think I left the notes over on the back there. Let me get my notes that I made for the rest of the plan. So smoke them if you got them. I will be right back at you. All right, I got my uh, plan that I made in front of me. I uh, will see if we can stick to it. Oh, it's nighttime. Good. Um, part of the plan is come on, girl, to head to San Denis and check out the gun store there. I've been checking out these gun stores. Oh, wait a minute. It says I can go down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you get run over by a train? Can we, can we like... This will get me killed right off the bat. Look! Good 
Yonder. If he's one of them, uh, or drip skulls, go get him. Oh wow, now the red line's taking me that way too. Yeah. Let's go take a look. See if I can see that uh, smokestack. There's a smokestack over here. Alright. <laughs> um, Uh, <laughs> just, uh, uh, I'm just making myself uh, happy. <laughs> that was fun. Um, you know, I could have jumped on it, huh? Let's go see, let's go check out the smokestack on the way. I do want to get to, back to what I was saying, man. I get, uh, distracted myself. Whoa! Good girl. Good horse, man. That's a real good horse. Um, for that smokestack. I think was the smokestack maybe coming from town. <laughs> get back, get back on track. I'm just heading straight for my ex. Um, hold it. You know me and horses. A striped skunk. Kentucky Saddler. What's the one up top? Are they both Saddlers? I just like the coat. I like their coat, you know. Yeah. Should probably uh, be prepared for an ambush. Looks like we are pretty well. Should probably uh, check my condition of my weapons as well. But what I was saying was, I'll go to San and uh, check out the gun store there. Um, people keep telling me that there's a really good gun available, and I've been to the gunsmiths in several other towns, and, um, yep. didn't see anything that, that, you know, flipped my switch, you know, made me want to buy. Can she make this? She yep. can. Oh, we got just a lone stranger with an interesting coat coat on that horse. What you got? For a horse, mister. American paint. I've never seen one with that configuration. colors. Never seen a paint like that. That's not his horse. We could conceivably catch it. Maybe it is his horse. Yeah, we'll just let him be because he's just going to tell us to scoot anywho. Um, this is where William used to hang out. I was kind of hoping it was William. 
and he has a cure for tuberculosis. That I would dearly love. This game disrespects Morgan so much. Idiot. They are great horses, and this game just disrespects them. I'm heading for my ex. Not my ex-girlfriend, but my ex on the map. If I headed for my ex-girlfriend, I'd probably get shot. Talking real life here. <laughs> Too much information. What was that? Went running off that way, whatever it was. Sorry, girl. I did not see it. Yeah. She said, "Well, next time around, I'm on." I'm going to hook myself up with a young man with 20-20 vision, Arthur. You just keep not seeing stuff. Yep. Oh, man. The, the 70, 71, going on 70, almost 70, heading for 72. Your old Arthur over here pushing the buttons. Saying, oh, um, what I was saying was, um, I haven't checked. The only gun shop I haven't checked is Saint Denis. So I want to check and see what y'all are on about. Y'all keep going on about a gun. Guns that I can get now. Yeah. And um, I want to check the stable there because I did acquire. The, uh, we could take a train the rest of the way in. Or stagecoach. I've never ridden in a stagecoach. Um, does his coach go to San Denis? Let's find out. I've never ridden a stagecoach. We have not taken a stagecoach ride, guys. Whole game. Anybody need a ride? Yeah, possibly, dude. Take a ride. Can I get a ride? Where's your destination? <laughs> Saint Denis. Can you take me to Saint Denis, please? Okay. We got Ooh. a lot of trail ahead, so settle in. We've never done this. Ah! Uh, while we're there, I wanted to get there at night because Henri was there. The uh, the mayor. Wasn't he the mayor that we met on the Bronte uh, mission? All right, my first. Oh, come on! Easy. You're not gonna let me. You're not gonna let me see the countryside. You're just gonna do. It. Oh, boo! 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 Okay, this is it. Thanks for that, Martin. All the best. For the love of God! For the love of God, what? Uh, well, Henri's only going to show up at tonight, and um, but the gunsmith, um, I know there's one here, man. Oh, come on. You're going to do this to me? Game. Ah, oh, there he is. Beep. We'll head that away. Oh. Um, oh, and the state, what's the stable? Uh, stable, because I was saying I got a, um, a new saddle. Let's go to the stable first. Uh, I got a new saddle. I wanted to do both here. So it's not like I'm, don't even worry, he keeps changing his mind, changing his mind. I'm not changing my mind. I was going to do both. Um, 
Mister, what do you want with me? I want you to get out of the way. Will you please leave me in peace? Morning. Is this because I'm wanted dead or alive in this town? Morning, mister. That's an impressive looking animal you got. Well, thank you. One nice guy. Hey, friend. Morning. Hey, two nice guys. Howdy. Morning, friend. Now, Arthur and cities don't get along, just like Mojave D and cities do not get along. Morning, Tim. And we have a storm of brewing. We do have to watch out for the, uh, the law. Hello, gentlemen. Morning. Hey, okay. mister. I can't dilly-dally too much. I gotta keep my head on a swivel. Yeah, my um, upbringing was not citified. Good morning to you, sir. Hey there, mister. Good morning, mister. Oh, no, the Look stable. Out. Our stable isn't where I buy... Hey there. Can, can get the saddle. What are you what doing to that horse? It's startled. A shush! The whole livery's full. Quit, man. Saddles. Is this where I can do it? Yeah, I purchased you know, saddles. Can tell when you're using a cheaper we got a new one. We got a panther. Whoa! And it is better than the bear. Wait a minute. Bear, minus 20, minus 24, minus 50. Minus 20, minus 26, minus 50. And the last one is 20, uh, plus 24. Yes! The panther is better. And look at that, it looks better yeah, on there's her, There's nothing too. worse than a drunk rider coming in here. The things they do to their horses, it ain't right. Look at this. Woo-hoo-hoo. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Um, and I think I think I should be able to, uh, can I like? You're going to want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. Can I customize this bad boy? That's what we had on her right there, so you can see the improvement. Wow, Panther Saddle, guys. Um, is there a way to? Ma, 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 ma. I don't think I need to do any. I don't think I really want to. Oh, appearance, mane and tail. That's just for the horse. Uh, services. Oh, uh, um, and look at her stats. She is a. You see any of the chickens yet? Chickens. Every morning I wake up to those damn birds clucking away. I think I already have a horse care package. Don't I? Anything to keep the horses happy, right? Um, shoo, shoo, sure. Come back oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Well, I did not want to leave, sir. Like I want to check. I'll give a lick, I want to check think? and see what you got for sale. Be, don't be ushering me out so quick, ma'am. Hey, whoa. whoa. When's the last time you fed your nag? I want to look at the horses. How do you do that? Are, am I not allowed to buy a horse? Ah, he's good. Now. No! Why can't I? What do I got to do to buy a horse? On hey, mister. How do you buy a horse? I, I don't know that. Manage, manage, select, uh, managed, manage them. Um, well, let's sell the Appy. Just to make room. So now we have Inferno and Star. We have an empty stall. 
by horse. That's how you do it. I bred, handled, cared for, and trained more horses than anyone else in the state. A Nakoda. A Turk. I like the Nakoda. Turkoman. These are good horses. I like the I like the I like the look. The Turk is by far the healthiest, the strongest. Wow. Um. So we have Star. She has just been a, uh, and she's been just that. Came she's to the right been a star. Today, that I guarantee. We have Inferno, and look at the health on him. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. Inferno's a good one too. They, these are two good horses. All right. Well, we have an empty slot now. We can buy some horse provisions. Hmm. Trying to tell me that my horse is um, is is malnourished or something here. Uh huh. It's not. It's not. All right, there. You happy now? I'm, I'm, I bought some food for my horse. Take care. Your horses are safe and sound with me. A very good morning to you. Hey, Mr. being real nice to me morning. now. Get out the road, honey. Look at the saddle on her. Woohoo! Okay, my girl. Woohoo! Now, here we'll get her. We'll get her. Um, feeling better. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Yeah, that's my girl. do for her how much if I was a horse I would not want to eat bull rush hey we go ah, how you doing hey there partner I right, said for the gun and um, take care of that piece of business Maybe we can just stick around here until nighttime and see if Henri shows up before we head up to see uh, Charlotte. Hey, mister. Huh? What's your issue here? Uh, you being in my way? You know, I'm on a thousand pound animal. I have to ride away. Mister. Good morning. Okay, this guy outweighs me. Out of the way. <laughs> Arthur, you're gonna you gonna get yourself. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, are these these punk little boys? Hello, sirs. No. Does Mama know you're off the farm. Morning. Ah, shut your mouth. Hey, that ain't called for. Hey, ma'am. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? N'est-ce pas? Um. It, it is so hard not to get in trouble here. You know. You don't hear? 
bumping into folk. And... Actually, I forget about it. You a queer sort. I'm a queer sort. Hello. Ah. I agree. Hello. Good morning to you. I do, I do love, I do love being in town. I just, oh crap, that is a policeman. He apparently does not realize that I am wanted dead or alive. He probably does not remember that we shot like half the police force. Hi there, mister. He must be Hi. new. They probably hired him to take the place of some of the guys we shot. And he doesn't realize that he missed his opportunity to be a hero. Welcome back. You must have been traveling for a while. Si, senor. Um, let's look at your catalog, son. Okay, now let me see. Uh, revolvers? We'll start there. A Lamont. Is this what you guys are on about? An important decision for a man. Which revolver to carry? Ah, uh, this is what you guys are talking about, I bet. Because this has never been available. I'll buy it and we'll upgrade it and we'll compare. Excellent choice. Components, grip. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. Do you like the pearl grip? It really suits you. And uh, barrel. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Yeah. This will improve my accuracy. You made a good decision. I'm glad you approved. And this will improve my damage. Okay, and iron sights by I can all give means. you some better options for the sights. I like That's your options. That's a fine firearm. Yes, sir. And get some ammo. Revolver, a uh, shotgun. Uh, sh oh, the, the Lamotte. So this does double duty. Uh, it can be a shotgun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have 107. I have 364. Hmm. Yeah, this does double duty. Right, 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 right. Um, I've seen these in, in real life, actually. No, well, not, not, not Lamont. Now, guys, I am perfectly aware, you guys in the comment section, that I can put engravings on the gun. You guys keep saying I don't see it. I see it. I just am not interested. So keep your hair on. <laughs> you keep missing you go you keep missing the engraving no i don't it's just that i don't want them all right carvings ah uh, snake plenty of lively bars nearby be sure you take a gun ah <laughs> uh, metals uh we can just change colors of things right um I like the barrel that way. I do, we can, we can make the hammer a little more visible and the sight a little more visible and a trigger a little more visible. Maybe I should have chosen a smaller store in Chinatown. Maybe you Something should have. Something cheaper. All right. And I'm sure things will turn around. Now what we need to do is compare that. Uh, with what we have now we have the we have this you can see the damage and the fire rate yeah the Lamont is better um huh my oh what is this a semi auto pistol what are you kidding me whoa ho 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 seriously now 
really good pistol. Yeah. Uh. Um, how many rounds? Um, where does it say? Um, read, uh, read. Uh, rounds, 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 rounds. I'm reading real fast. Uh, I, I'm speed reading. I hope this store bring more people to Chinatown, but I am still waiting. Uh huh. How many rounds? Uh, let's buy it. <laughs> Yee -hee -hee! Oh, Are you, you don't kidding me? Seriously? Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. Besides the shopper, I like it. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I think that's the right choice for you. I agree with you, sir. Oh, doesn't do a lot of damage, but it should, um, but this is like, um, can do, ooh, uh, should be rapid fire, um, iron sights. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make the difference. Oh, you don't mess around. Not much. What are we shooting? Okay. Nice. Ooh. We can blew it. Very good chop suey on the street. Chop suey, huh? I sent you. Okay. Well, thanks. But no thanks. I mean, nothing personal. I'm just not um, in the mood. Um, we just make the whole dang thing gold, man. The golden pistol. <laughs> Let me know if you need help. Yeah, I know I can varnish it too, but I, you know, it just doesn't interest me, guys. Well, you know what? Now nah, we're good. Um. So now, wow. Um, we gotta try it. I don't know that it's any better. Actually, think this the uh, the skull feels better. I mean, what advantage does it have? It's quick, uh, quicker reload. A man got shot right Quicker there fire rate. Caught that's that's street. the thing. So um, not as you, much you damage, but gun. you're going to put more bullets in them quicker. And then you've got the uh, Lamotte, which looks like does more damage than all of them. So we can we can have we can equip the two. We'll probably do that just just for grins. Nice. Yeah, take your time. Pistols. Well, that's just, that's where I was. Okay. Oh, why is this $109? Built for rapid fire. Yeah, see, low damage, but... Brrr. That's a good, solid pistol right there. Yeah. Um, the first semi-autos, I had problems with jamming. You know, they hadn't perfected that, that mechanism. And by, you know, it's a video game. We don't have to worry about that. What is this? A Mauser. Again, rapid fire, low damage. We have the volcanic already. Oh, wait a minute. 
I have a volcanic. Why, why is it saying I don't have a volcanic? I have one. Have you owned a pistol before? <laughs> um, and Evan. We sell a lot of that particular item. I bet you do. That is not a bad uh, rifle. Um, the Litchfield, for some reason, this is locked. This would be nice. Why is this locked? I want this. What do I have to do you to find unlock a better selection this? Of firearms this side of the river. I have a Springfield. Don't I? I have a. Don't I have a Springfield? That's popular around here. I believe I have one, sir. Man, that thing hits like a ton of bricks. Oh yeah, owned. It says owned. <laughs> Silly. Does it say owned on the uh, on the uh, volcanic? It does not say that I own one. But I do. We'll take really a look. Really good pistol. But this is the one I want right here. No, no, no. Uh, where to go? Um, this one. I really want this one, and it's locked. Now the Springfield. I thought we, uh, yeah, we do have a Springfield. Great rifle. We do have the bolt action. And if you're heading anywhere near the slums, you should take a lot. I haven't of used a rolling you. block much. Maybe we should um, equip that. I have a sawed-off shotgun. It's saying I don't. This would be the other one I would want, and it's locked to me. A repeating shotgun. Look at the damage on that. You see the church across the street? Father O'Leary carries a gun, a Dellinger. I sold it to him. Just in case turning the other cheek doesn't work. <laughs> hmm. 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 Tempted. I think we'll call it at that. If the Italians keep taking from me, I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay open. Oh, Bronte? Uh, Bronte's dead, dude. Don't worry. All right. We're done here. Now. Very nice. Can I equip? No. Thanks for your assistance. We're going to change our, uh, our loadout here just to test these. Look at that saddle, man! I'm just not sh Oh, if I do this here... So we have a Callaway, and he looks like that. Well, we look at Callaway, and then we look here. Fire rate is just incredible. Accuracy is, a, is good. Well, same accuracy. Actually, Callaway's is more accurate. Callaways is better than the Lamont. They the now the Lamont gives me ooh. Well, let's put the same ammo in them. No, 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 no. Put it that. Th put it away before you get yourself in trouble, son. Um. Aha. Oops. Now. It's better. Explosive rounds. Oh, 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 
Look at the damage with those bad boys. I only have seven of them. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that beats uh, Callaway. All right, we go in that route, and here, we put, if we put Express in this, there's my Volcanic. I told you I had one. Not really like it. But this sucker, the fire rate. That's Callaway. Callaway's a good pistol, man. They're all good. I think it's just, it's just a matter of... I mean, you could even just use the high roller. I mean, you could use any pistol and be fine. I just have... This is a worn Cattleman's, and, and you'd be all right. I probably want to sell that. I'm going to give this a go, just for grins. Put it away. And, um... So those are my rifles. I have more in my um, my chest uh, back at camp. If you keep holding that gun, someone might make you use it. Would that be you? <laughs> They're all looking at me like, "Why are you doing? Why are you drawing guns?" I'm just looking at them. Calm down. Hello. Hi, The shop was last week. Excuse me, pardon. All right. Hello, sir. So those are the two side things I wanted to do: um, the saddle and a gun. And now, oh, he's back too. Now he's daytime. Oh, we probably want to stick around here until dark and see if Henri, while we're here, see if Henri shows up. And. Um, I'm going to need to spend the night if we're going to do that, and it's locked. The saloon is locked. Uh, I won't be able to spend the night. Um, well, fiddle dee dee. Um, <laughs> I'm wasting time right now. Um, Go, go up to see Charlotte. But, and then we want to do the Reverend. And I really want to do Henri while we're here. Uh, maybe I can get, like, just outside of town or something and, and camp and um, and make it nighttime. What time is it? Time, please. 16, so it's it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So no way just I'm just trying to mind my own business. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'm trying to think if what I could do productively. Hello, Mister. Hello, Mister. Um, until dark. I think the best thing to do a general store. Hello. I think the best thing to do is just um, make camp and reset the clock. They hung that fellow who stole a pack of flour from the general store. like touring town
Hey, mister. Mister? Hey, partner. Hello? Ladies look like you could use some help, but you're not asking. You look like a man on a mission. Oh, you should see yourself. Got yourself into a hell of a state. Hi there, folks. Hello. Hello, mister. Hello, ma'am. Ah. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> Remember this spot? The old electric chair, dude. That fella wanted a bunch of feathers from a bunch of different birds, and this is probably the area to do that in, but that is not on my list today. Hi there. Howdy. Gosh, the detail, man. I just, I'm sorry, man. I just revel in it, you know. Blame you, girl. I, I would do the same thing. Let's let's try out our new weapons. Look at me. You got me all muddy. I don't blame her for spooking. Muddy. Good grief. We'll camp. I'm wondering how I see I only have one fat. So explosive revolver explosive pistol cartridges I think I can only make one yeah and yeah, we did incendiary buckshot boy I'd do some damage but again we can only make one in moonshine the proof throwing knife Want to sleep until night time? Smoke them if you got them. Break time. All right, let's check out Henri. And um, let's just leave.
before I lose the night time and he disappears. Yep, yep. Ah, you good, girl? Yeah, with her coloring, this saddle looks great on her. Yep. So this is, I, I'm set on Henri, right? I thought I was. Yeah, I am. It just seemed like I was going the wrong direction. I got turned around. Let's, um... Be getting into a fight. I don't know that we will with him. I don't know. Um, Gotta get before the sun comes up. Don't go away on me. I love this town at night. I like it in the daytime too. Let's see what he's doing here. We need to get to him quick. The time goes so fast. Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes, please. 
Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. <laughs> Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur le mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? <laughs> yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. It would be ridiculous killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major yeah. museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. Uh -huh. And how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. No, oh, he's man. been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. <laughs> Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Okay. Bonne chance. Here we go. Time for some muscle. It's just, this is like another straw submission. What am I doing? I'm driving. Don't make me drive. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. Yeah. As I said, he's a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. Sir, the professor will not be here for long. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on air guns, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. I'm, I'm looking at it. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change, can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. The power of reason is not to be underestimated. The gallery is just up ahead. What am I doing? There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. <laughs> Shit face. Follow him. Follow Professor T. Shit face until he reaches a secluded area. Morning to you, sir. I'm telling you, this, this year, my year. Excuse me. Oh, hello. The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people, myself included. Hmm. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Oh, mister. Now, I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh, oh, wait, wait. 
I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. your reputation now. I, I, I'd never be published again. How about now? <laughs> I relent. I relent. There. <laughs> you see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important. Than a broken note. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people. <laughs> I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. <laughs> this guy, Jean, John, Jean, where, how, um, I'm not sure how to get out of here. Uh, well, I'm around here somewhere. Um, how do I get out to him? This way? Hey, come on, come on. So, turns out, yeah. All those paintings were real after all. <laughs> what do you Problem know? Solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's hoping. Here, the mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. 20 bucks, probably. This will continue at a later time. Surprise, surprise. So time. Now I saw another white one here. It has since disappeared. So I think we need to spend the night. And um I think we need to set the clock to nighttime. While we're here, let's get all these nighttime missions done here. You know when you have one of those days? Is that so? My tail of victory had to close shop. Yeah, we need a bag. I mean, a bag. But quality. That's okay. Can you organize? I have the girls make it for you. Bon just bar. just head on up. Can I get food, please? Woo, baby. Knock into Tabitha's estate and ruin her rose garden. Happened before, my dear. Bonjour, Not bad, huh? 
Let's try this out. Um, where the bath is upstairs. This here is a real man's game. Hello. Look. Look at the stained glass window. Window. Excuse my countrified speech. Um. Do you want to have a good time? No. I want you to have a bath. Can I assist you in there, sir? Why, sure. Ah, oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Very well. Relax and I'll do my best. <laughs> nice corset. Mm. Hmm. Ain't a woman here do a better job than me. Let me know if it's too warm. My dog Copper used to take baths with me when he was alive. He tells everybody oh. that. <laughs> well, that's something. Yeah, it impresses all the ladies when I Time tell them to that. Take a break sometime. Life's too short. Yes, certainly. So how are things with you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Guess we're done. All right, I think I'm good. Goodbye now, I'll see you soon. Now we gotta get a room. I should have done that when I was there. Those memory foes forever had their heads in the past. They won't be happy unless we face another war. That's how it was true, Tim. We got an interesting conversation. That's the one. He's a bad man. Is that so? Marvelous. Does it ever summer? Marvelous. Real fine. Bonjour. You know, they're talking about. Good morning to you. Madame, Monsieur Crompton. Hey, y'all. Good morning, sir. So, what will it be? Bonjour. Can I get a room for tonight, please? Okay, yeah, room is all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. Bonjour. Hey, folks. Bonjour, monsieur. Morning. You remind me of a fella I used to know. That you judge is like all the others. They come here with dreams of... Mais quelle délicieuse surprise! Fourteen hours? All right, we got plenty of time to smoke them if you got them. We'll see you in fourteen hours. All right, let's go see what this is all about. But first, take a look. Uh, I think I have Mark. You know, um, was uh, did I not mark him? Where is he? Micah and the Reverend. Let's do, we'll get Obadiah and then the Reverend. Look at this. 
outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Oh, I yes. Can help you really Bonjour. Hello, ma'am. Mais bonjour. Bonjour, Sorry. Tell me, how Can't is everything with you? I'm doing very well. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, Mr. Big, excuse me. Their beds in the streets at night. Unbelievable. Cela ne me surprend plus. Bonjour. Debating or just shy? <laughs> Prime rib, please. Hello, sir. Uh, hey there, partner. Hello. Gotta be careful around here. Help me! Uh, somebody else! What happened? Empty your pockets now. Son of a bitch! I owe you my life. Here, it's the least I can do. Please. Where are you? Where are you? You owe me your life, and the least you can do, please. Where'd you go? I know where you went. More crimes? Oh shit, this can't be real! What? What? Someone help! Careful there. crime going on around me. Come on, girl. I don't know what to make of all this. Hello. How are you today? Gotta get to him before the sun comes up and we're losing.
Legendary crocodile to deal with. It's all right, girl. Yeah. A legendary crocodile that I want. Mindful of the law, we are wanted dead or alive. Forty-four minutes is gone by. Hold on. Stay sharp. That's the law. Yeah. Got a roadblock. I got it. Reverend Swanson first. Yeah. I think maybe he's yellow. He can be done in the time. He can be done in the day. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's upset about something. Whoa, girl, easy. Let's get the shotgun. So I guess we'll do Reverend Swanson. There are some herbs around here. Oh, hummingbird sage. Don't really want any more of that. I 
got a feeling he's not on the map anymore. Nah, it's, he's a nighttime thing. So we'll head up and do the Reverend. Well, the Reverend's back at camp. This is that um, strange town. Idiot. Okay. Have mercy, please. Think please, very carefully God. about your no, next no. move. No, I didn't mean to do that, mister. Did he die? I was expecting uh, Mur McMurphy's, you know. And, oh, man. I was. That was terrible. Just terrible. And you know, you know McMurphy's in the show. Oh, I messed up. I feel bad, man. Yep. Morning. Out there. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> I have not been here in a very long time. to worry about me. I know. Morning. Hey, Abigail. I hope people don't fight anymore this morning. You okay, Jack? 
Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah, he had to leave. Sorry. Reverend, <clears throat> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. Afraid These are leave. challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. Oh, no. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before. I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Oh, boy. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us. Without an army, you bastards this? walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. 
Sure, but what Molly's got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. No. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. No, man. Why do you no. think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. Hold on, let me get equipped here. Um, he's got a bow. Um, I'm thinking bow. But... Uh, just in case... There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. I'm grabbing it's my shotgun. I didn't have time to get a repeater. I need the repeater. All right. You can set out. Maybe I should bring the bow. And just not let me get back to a weapon. I don't like the weapons I have. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to splash too much, Arthur. Good luck. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Some damn soldiers. <gasps> Some damn soldiers. You mind the horses? I need a smoke. Up, are they going to leave? I can't get three of them. 
him silently. If I had the boat, I would kill one, though. He doesn't want me to kill anybody either. Man. I'm not sure. I don't proceed. Full house. For Christ's sakes, Pennington, you're taking us for a ride here. Maybe they'll Sam's split up. Rose, but I've been lying. <laughs> don't know if I'm gonna tell my wife. Sorry, darling. No food this month. That cheating bastard Pennington robbed it all. Send her over to me. I got lots of money. <laughs> Is it gonna break up? <laughs> Come on, split up. I need him to split up. Jeff, we got a problem here. Let's take it back. What's ours? Trying to LB it, but I already had the dynamite. Pretty fast, I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Oh, great. Hold on. What is wrong with you? Boys, all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked. Quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Trying to mount it. Oh, let me. Oh, he wants me to get these three. How do I catch? Over here. Come on. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course <coughs> we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. 
don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp. Check on the others, Dutch's behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. I got gold. <laughs> That's first. That's first. Now, let's see if uh, OH is there. He is. Obadiah. Uh, let's see if we can get there before the sun comes up. Ah, oh, man. You know, I don't know. I, 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 yep. Uh, Mike off to the right. <laughs> you know, I'm just not sure I won't get into any more. I don't. I don't want to get into any more fights right now. Hold it. Okay, there. I uh, must bring some weapons. Oh, we've got weapons. All right. Just didn't. It didn't. Doesn't give you time to get the weapons you want all the time. You know. I'm only dead or alive here. It is 3:55 a.m. Yeah, I'm still. I'm still chewing on that last one. I mean, yeah, I mean, during, I don't know. The wisdom of the elders. Be gone, sir. Be gone. Who's gone? Well, not not Be because gone. we cares, not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking about? The demons have us by the throat, sir. The demons? The darkness. The darkness, it's, it's everywhere that he was right. What are you talking about? They come in darkness. Ooh. Please help. They're coming. Oh, pigs. Oh, somebody help. Please help. Stay inside. Keep your door shut. What am I supposed to do? 
Salvation. It's not demons. It's just dogs gone crazy. Hey, nice. Get yourselves home. No, no, no. He said. He said they would come in many forms. <laughs> oh, shush. And he, and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? It's just sick dogs, uh, hydrophobia, or some other poison. He said. We were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, mister. Then get yourself a gun and kill any sick animals you see. Life will be just the fine. The darkness has come for us. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop being ignorant. Who was right? Who was right? I was. Oh, Texas for me. Please, Texas. This guy. I shall save them. How? Well, who are you? There'll be no more four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. Uh -oh. I just saved them, and it weren't no curse. It's just sick dog. Dark charms possess the woods, I told you. Uh -huh. he, he told me he did. He, he told me. Mm -hmm. I found one. Mm. That don't touch He it. found the curse! Oh, found it. So? The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. Oh, oh God. God. Yet the woods are also Come on. full of demons. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? He never yeah, lied to me. Yeah, word of it's a lie. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. Oh, so right now. you're wow. saying if someone destroys those charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons, and the demons protect no. the charms, and the charms protect the demons. Uh, it's impossible. I can see that. It's impossible. Uh, there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you he would come, and he would help. And he would laugh. Well, yeah, you, you told us. Now, for crying out loud, how ignorant can you be? Destroy the cursed charms near Birch Creek. Is that next? What am I supposed to do? Uh, yeah. Ah. 
shaman. Praying on their ignorance. Destroy the charms. And what are they supposed to look like? And whoa, 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 whoa. He gave me a destroy. He gave me a, They gave me a prompt and I did not see it. L. Ah, oh, there's one. I saw it. Oh, it's right there. Thirteen of them? Are you crazy? Thirteen of them. see anymore. Need the mint for uh, food. It's good for his health. Um, and I shall continue, I guess. There's one. Thought I saw another one right there. Can you only see these at night or something? Oh, there we go.
So there's three more. What? How many more? Okay. Where? Supposed to just like run around here and find these things? Mister, get out of here. There's cursed stuff in the trees. I don't know where, I mean, how am I supposed to find the rest of them? Who are those guys over there? Oh, a law. A roadblock. Yeah, great. no idea I mean other than just oh here we go we got something we had a red something a snake probably what's that what's it what's it what's it what is it something and I can't but I can't see it got to be a snake what am I ah uh, it's gonna be a snake what is it It's right on. It's right on a horse. You see something? Just give me a red dot right here. This is not. Is it up here? Horse is standing on something. Yeah. There it was, right there. Did you see it? I saw it for a second. What is it? I can't see anything. feel like an idiot. So these other ones, I guess I just gotta go run around till I find a red 
thing. Do I get a red dot? Unopened mail or parcels. You can pick them up at the post office. Well, that doesn't help me with what I'm doing, game. Ah. So what? I got to run around. I am so not excited about doing this. Because I hate just wasting up this much time. I don't have a clue. Destroy the cursed charms. And then I and then it doesn't give me the clue. The I, I the prompt went too fast. I couldn't see what the prompt said. see what the prompt said. Did you see what the prompt said? Of course you probably did, but I didn't. So what is this this track it's giving me? Am I supposed to follow it? Is that a clue? Extremely annoying. Extremely. Like, am I supposed to have a clue as to what direction to go in? a whole bunch of bull rush and this is a whole bunch of bull pucky this little mission here I mean come on how do they why do they give you something like this This way? Am I supposed to like follow that smoky stuff coming off? this another time. And maybe we give up on this and come back because I don't get it. I mean, the, the smoke keeps going this way. Or the, 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 the white squiggly lines that look like smoke. But for the life of me, giving me clues, you know, it was showing you where they were, and then it stopped doing that. Destroy the cursed charms. I am trying, I am trying to do that very thing. So they're obviously, it's got to be here. over there and they can't hear me shooting this gun, right? <sighs> I don't know. 
What clue am I not picking up on? I think I saw one over here. I thought I saw one. This is annoying. I mean, how much time am I going to spend doing this? Destroy the cur- Why did I have the red dot on showing me where one was? And I'm not getting that anymore. I'm not getting any signs. Any clues. Is that our camp over here? What the heck is this? Crazy man. That's just a fisherman down there. I'm about to give up. Toggle your eagle eye. And I, I mean, either 
I'm just blind as a bat. See their darn things. You know, when I find these last ones, I'm going to get real upset because they're going to be so close, right? It's going to be like it was so obvious and I didn't figure it out. Uh, I mean, I could spend half an hour. I mean, I've already spent half an hour doing this. This is nuts. What do you know? I see too. <sighs> One more. I saw red. You see the red? That was a whole bunch of no fun at all. Yep. Excuse me, partner. Yeah. 
Who's that? It's me, you moron. Remember me? I helped with those dogs. I've been seeing about this curse oh. of yours. Welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those charms out in the woods, yeah. they all been broken. All of them? So yeah. I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle! We're saved! Yep. The darkness lifted! Yep. Not saved. Huh? Yes. Uh. Shut up. He broke the charms. And the spirits are huh? set loose. Yeah, yeah, you we're, just keep on making that? stuff up as you go. You said the charms was protecting the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demons. He's thinking that. He's thinking. Now I, I, I need, to, I need some light here. Now I, oh, yeah, I don't know Lord what to man. think. Hey, huh? look at me. Yeah. I think something's going on in this holler. It ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this fella don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie in December. Uh, Something's up, and this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas. He didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift. My ancestor. Well, I got a gift right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to commune with the spirits. Dark. Dark omens. Oh. Dark spirits. What yeah. is he hiding? He, he, always, he always spoke truthful to us. No, he didn't. There, there is a dig oh, on no. the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll take a look at that, Dick. See if I can see something. Uh, uh, oh, no! Why are they going to do this to me, man? Seriously? <laughs> Damn, that hurt. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I think he just headbutted me. I had a friend, uh, name of Bear. I've talked about him before. Uh, welder. Uh, back when I was uh, trying to be a, a welder and uh, apprenticing, you know, learning. And uh, he had a goat. He had goats. And uh, he had one that would always do that to me or try to. I mean, it, it would charge me. It, and it liked me, believe it or not. It's, oh, we can't go that way. Uh, that is the law. Uh, yep. Every time I'd go over there, like, we'd have barbecues in uh, Bear's backyard and whatnot. And, uh, uh, yep. Yeah. That goat didn't want to do anything but wrestle with me, man. And so he'd come at me and I'd grab him by the horns. And he loved it. I mean, it was great fun for him, you know. And uh, it just leads me to the dang uh, law. And uh, we would just wrestle. I would, I would grab his horns and he'd push on me and I'd push on him back and push each other back and forth and back and forth. Oil ten ball. I don't know. 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 The thing is, he wouldn't tire of it. You know. You know. I could be, I was stronger than it, you know, and, and uh, so it was, it was kind of fun for a few minutes, and then they're like, all right, I, I've had enough, yeah. you know, and Some animal noises. Um, you know, Bear'd have to go put it in the pen, but Bear got a big kick out. He was just like, "Well, Bear, Bear, would you put put this goat away?" 
Oh, that's an interesting thing. The tree? You would think if something like that was in the game that there might be something cool around here. You know, I see little things like this in video games and it makes me think, inspect tree. Aha! I was right! Let's get out of um, Eagle Eye if we can. Damn, I miss my old horse. I guess that's it. We'll just put it in the journal. Trial trees. Tra trail. Trail trees. Trial. Um, yeah. Okay, I need a break. I need a smoke. Um, well, that's nice. I mean, next time I play this game, I'll know where those dang things are. It won't spend half a dang hour. How to get that done. Now what do we have? Uh, hold on. I got something in camp that I don't recognize. Um, I need a break, man. And I, and I need something not frustrating. Uh, I saw I saw a yellow I did not recognize. Sadie. Sadie needs to speak to you. We've got Dutch. Um... All right. I do. I need a break, man. Yep. Chasing those darn things around just irritated the crap. Wait a second. Out of me. I hear semi ominous music, so out comes the rifle. I need to do something that is not irritating to me, you know? Girl, all right. You done good, girl. You're fine. You can rest now, girl. This is a dag. And once again, they only give me one rifle. They don't give me the th what I had on my back. to get a weapon in my other hand it won't let me <coughs> all right I got um, I, <laughs> I got to tell you a story about a mine um, we don't want to go that way do we um, 
I don't know, little boy, but first, I need a break, man, so smoke them if you got them. I'm taking a break, dang it. I did not intend for this video to be this long, but that dang... Uh, those things hanging on trees just, just irritate the heck out of me. Man, I ain't even in the mood to tell this story. I'm so just... Bleh. But we had, a, <clears throat> there were mines all around the, the hillsides uh, out out there and uh, from the gold rush, you know, from the gold rush time, not, not far from where we lived. And I was probably 13, 14 years old. I mean, we went into all the mines that we could find and uh, th we found this one. That was the best one. It was the best one. Uh, and we just loved it. And we couldn't get back there now. We didn't have anything to light, any any lights. You know, we didn't have flashlights or or uh, anything. But I always, you know, my dad instilled in me that you know when you go out, you know, exploring and whatnot, and you know, just out in the out in the world, out in the desert. I mean, it was. I had an unusual childhood in that it was just wide open country all all around, all around us. And um, Anyway, back then, uh, you could go into the mines. You could go down the mine shafts. We, we went down a, uh, a couple of mine shafts that weren't too deep. Um, but this one was really super deep. And, uh, I mean, we'd throw a rock down there, and you couldn't see the bottom, of course. It was all pitch black. It was a black hole straight down. And uh, it took a long time before that rock hit the bottom. And when we tried to climb down there, they had these old wooden ladders that were built in the 1800s, you know, during the gold rush, and so the lumber was real rotten and everything, and anyway, a rung, a rung on the ladder broke, and we said, well, we're not going to go down there any further. Anyway, we found this cave, back to the cave, and um, uh, what we did was we gathered up paper, twigs, whatever we could, you know, scraps that were out there um, in the desert, and we made little torches and, and, and lit them. I always, my dad instilled in me, always bring matches. You know, I didn't smoke or anything like that. And, uh, always bring matches and always have a pocket knife on you. So I always had a, I always had matches in my pocket and I always had a pocket knife, you know, along with a, you know, sometimes a bigger knife, you know, if, if we're going fishing or something. Anyway, so, uh, we made little torches and we went back as far as we could. The problem is the torches burned out real fast. I'm talking real fast because I want, I, this is too damn long, this video, and I, I just want to get done with it right now because I'm mad about that last episode, that, that last you know, the thing with the, the things hanging up, 13 of them. Anyway, uh, um, uh, so we couldn't get all the way back into it. And um, so, but we were excited. This is cool. We really liked this one. And um, it had like a natural, uh, uh, it was a fort. We said, this is going to be our fort. This is going to be our, this is going to be our fort, man. This is, you know, this is ours. We're claiming this thing. And right out in front, it had like the rocks went in like a semicircle. There were like these, these boulders and rocks and then a clear, a clear spot in the middle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like the rocks were in a semicircle like this with a clear, clear spot and then the, the uh, the the uh, the the cliff that you know that this was dug into it was dug into the into the mountain hung out over that so it, it made it like a natural shade like a canopy only it was you know rock and then they dug they dug in and and back so anyway we went we we went home we were all excited when and um, um, we couldn't get flashlights I and mean, the only people that had flashlights were moms and dads you know and I couldn't you know you couldn't take your dad's flashlight but we got candles. We got candles, man. And so we, we went back out there, I don't know, uh, days later, maybe a week later when we can go out on a weekend. And um, and um, and we went, we lit candles and we went back with candles and the candles don't put off a lot of light. And we got to the end of this thing. It did a little, it did a little curve, a little dog leg, you know, to the left, you know, as you go down. The camera reverses everything. Anyway, it dog leg to the left. And, um, and then it went up, it started going up and we got to the end and you could see where like, where they were, where, had, where they had used dynamite. Cause there was like burn marks on the, on the sides and the walls, you know, powder burn marks. And then there was this, this room, we went up and there was a, it, you could tell where, where it had all like caved in, where all the rocks and everything had caved in. And there was just a little opening, just big enough to, to, to crawl your body through, like where all these rocks had piled up and closed off the, the, the cave. But 
or the mine. It was a mine, not a cave. And um, but there was a hole. The rocks had had collapsed down. And so you crawled through that hole, and it opened up into this big room, and it went up. The ceiling went up so high, we couldn't see. So they had apparently were trying to go up with the mine, you know, and we, but we couldn't, um, you know, we couldn't see the top of it, but it opened up into this big round room. I mean, this is it. This is our fort. This is our, this is our fort right here, you know, all the way in the back. And there were all these, uh, petrified plants, uh, or I don't know if they're petrified or if that's the right word for it, but the, the plants like, uh, prehistoric plants, um, um, pressed into the stones, you know, there was a bunch of them, and even some insects, like things that looked like centipedes and scorpion kind of things, uh, you could, see their bodies had been petrified or, or pressed into the, the stones on the walls and, 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 and some of the rocks that were down on the bottom, and um, that was our fort, man. Uh, that was our fort. We claimed it. We went and we uh, you saved up some allowance money and, and bought flashlights so we could go back in there with flashlights and whatnot. But um, we would go back in there and just sit back in that room all the way in the back end of it and just just hang out and talk and tell ghost stories, try to scare ourselves, you know. Never saw any snakes in the mine, nothing like that. Never saw anything dangerous, you know. But anyway, that's the end of that. Let's get on with this. <laughs> and I have absolutely forgotten what we're doing, to be honest. And can I equip a gun yet? I cannot equip a gun. Can I equip a gun? No, I cannot. I am trying. <laughs> This is not a good place for him to be. <clears throat> yeah, it looks cursed, all right. Yeah. Who's there? I see you over there. Can I grab a the gun? game's up. There's poison in this mine. Chase after the mysterious figure. God damn you! I'm getting out of here. Okay, well, like, where is he? Is he in here? Yeah, it was like this. It went up. But I can't get him up there. Somewhere. I can't get him up there. Um. <coughs> yeah, it was like this. It was all tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like this. Damn. Damn what? If I leave him, it's gonna hurt my, what you call it, isn't it? A gold nugget. <coughs> it's dumb and it hurt my uh, honor. Can I equip weapons? I cannot equip weapons. Oh, shit. I'll just keep hurting my honor. Yeah, it was a lot like this. A gold tooth. Like this. Come on, come the little on. room at the end. I should probably be paying attention to the Who's game and not about right my hmm? childhood. I still can't equip a gun. A lot like this, only with no water. <coughs> Left or right. Oh, come on. <coughs> Pick up a brown rat. This is going to be a time thing where he has to get out quickly. Dead end. Yeah, this is a lot. This is this is a lot like what we uh, dealt with. Is this where I came from? God damn. Okay, I can equip weapons now, at least. Um. I want to 
jump down here? And if so, can I get back up? stuff? What do you think? Or keep going left. There we go. Is this where I came in at? This is just where I came in at. I cannot equip weapons. Please, come on. Can I climb over this? No, I would well, then we have to go this way. That. We need to get um, now. Um, healthified here. I told you I would save you. Yes. And I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes. Yeah, the I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. No. It's a powerful magic. No. That will protect you on your journey. Yeah. Uh, uh, hereby we release, we absolve, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, you're back. We thought the curse had got you. Nope, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. I was down that old dig, and I found this. Leaking all the way into the lake. Oh. You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. Well, let him tell you then. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? Oh, then you won't mind taking oh, a drink. Hey, no. hey, hey, hey. No, hey, please. Hey. No, no. 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 Nice, no. nice. Oh, you've killed me. <laughs> I'm poisoned. <laughs> poisoned now, is it? Uh, yeah. uh, oh. Oh, the dig. All he found was an arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to uh, get you all to go. Uh, now you heard it. It's taken me. Oh, oh dear. Uh, dear God. Oh, there's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? Oh, 
powerful forces have taken on this town. It ain't oh, spirits. Yes. It's a mining company. No, it is spirits. Spirits taken God. through a mining company. Brothers and sisters, we got some praying to do. Yes. Yes. Don't pray. Do you something. You'll die. Or you worse. Just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money there. Just take it if you want it. Damn right I want it. <laughs> So that's the end of that. They're taking all your money. It's the least you could do. Liability agreement. here and uh, I do not want to end the video because that just sucked RF rainfall and did I lose the veteran I lost the veteran lost the veteran well then Let's just head over to Charlotte. Because I need something positive, and I'm hoping that she will be. You all right, girl? That just... That whole Obadiah thing just irritates the crap out of me, okay? It just irritated the crap out of me. Everything to do with it. Just irritating. You think you can keep me locked up? You shut that filthy mouth! Keep back, mister. Bitch back there. Hey there, help a lady out. Where are you fellas going? Off to have some fun with whoever you got in the back? Try something or just stupid. Yeah. Irritating. Irritating, I say. Yeah, those, uh, those old mines and mine shafts are all, they sealed them up now. You know, when I was growing up, the world wasn't a, you know, a sterile place. You know, they made the world so damn sterile. Um, and, and yes, I'm, I'm saying that as a criticism. Um. I'll shut up. I, I, I will. I just, I don't. Yeah. You know, it's like. They think we're all so damn stupid. Never mind, I'll shut up. You know, that they have to. That, I'm not shutting up, am I? That they have to be our, uh, our guardian. They have to, uh, like, we're, we're too stupid to know any better, you know, and I guess my take on that, what is this? I mean, if you're stupid enough, get yourself, yeah, I've been here, to get yourself killed, 
by going down a mine shaft, then so be it. You know? Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> you, know, you know? The Darwin effect. Yeah. You know, you win the Darwin Award for being an idiot. But... No, it's in the meantime, if you didn't kill yourself, if you're smart, I mean we weren't idiots, uh, you had a great adventure and you get and great discoveries and uh, yeah. and just a whole lot of fun. Uh, okay, we got trouble. It was just I don't know what my point is. I just why well, I do, I just don't want to get into politics and all that. I mean kids growing up around over there now, I uh, can't do. Kid couldn't experience things that we did, that we experienced, you know, they wouldn't get the adventure, and, uh, you know, we took home some of those petrified uh, rocks, those rocks would have the uh, petrified plants, you know, prehistoric, petrified um, insects, and, um, I don't know, it was a great learning experience, just a great experience, period. Absolutely loved it. The whole adventure of the thing. And now, in the name of safety, yeah. it's all sealed up and you can't do what we did. That's why I said I had a, a, a unique upbringing and a, a unique childhood that you can't, you just can't can't get it anymore. Is she okay? Tell me she's okay. I don't want any more frustration. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. Me too. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean well, it. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Ah, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. I like it. Thank you. Well. I needed this. You take care of yourself. What? Arthur. No, no, no. Aw, shucks. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. I'm not going to go and help myself to any of your stuff, honey. All right, a good place to end the episode. Finally! And I'm probably going to have to edit out all my stupid ramblings. Because I, I really don't know what my point was. I really don't. I mean, I just, it was a different world when I grew up. And I guess that's the point. It's just different now. And, you know, that's my point. And uh, I guess, and uh, we'll camp. And we'll end the episode. Thank you for putting up with me. I do appreciate you guys so, so much. Uh, the Red Dead community is just, uh, I mean, there really are no words. Uh, 
to explain. I mean, there's. I mean, to explain the positive effect all of this this whole ride has had on this old man. And uh, uh, I am in your debt. I really am. And uh, I thank you all for watching. Let's get it. Let's get him finished up here. And uh, uh, y'all take care. And I lost the veteran. The veteran was an older man. Let's see if he shows back up. Um, we'll sleep until morning because uh, he's a daytime, a daytime uh, thing. Let's see if he shows up and we'll end it. And I, I really mean, um, I really mean it um, when I say thank you. Uh, I really do. It's, it's. Um, I don't know how to explain it. it. It's there. He is. He is still there. So we will get a hold of Hamish and uh, probably Micah and Sadie and all that kind of stuff on the next one. Uh, and, oh, we got, uh, oh, we've got, uh, rainfalls. All right, everybody. Um, just one more time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you very much. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the next one.